And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to use the undo history. There's a simple image right here, let me rename it. I'll add some text. Uh, let me make that a bit bigger so that we can see properly. And I'll make it wide. But that should be good as an example. So if you want to access your history, don't get it confused with the document history. So the document history shows you the document that you've used up until now. But we can also add a tab called undo history. So that's a different function or a different menu. The undo history cycles through all of the stuff that I've done here. So adding the text, making it bigger, giving it a different color. And if I copy, let's say, the original image, you can see that add layer is added to this undo history. Uh, we can jump back and forth between what we've done so far. If there's an issue for you, just go to Edit Preferences, go to your System Resources and check right here the maximum undo memory. By default it should be big enough to save enough steps, but maybe you've got it a little bit lower by accident or for whatever reason. So if you don't see your undo history, this might be the problem. Just reset it right here. Click on reset. And you should get the default. And for the document history that I've shown you, this box should be checked so that you can see all of the documents that you've used prior. Let me close this window. I'll get back to the undo history. And if I press Ctrl Z, you can see this is actually what it does. So I go one step back in this undo history every time I press Ctrl Z. It's a useful tool that you should definitely know and it saves you a lot of frustration with using GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.